Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might remember I used to do uh, what I call my iris paintings. So I'm an optician and I look at the close up view of an iris, uh, the, the coloured part of the eye quite a lot at work. So I did some, a whole range of paintings that um, kind of looked like the iris of an eye, but they were multicoloured rainbows, all sorts of weird and wonderful colours. They had a black pupil at the central part of the eye, and then they had the, the, the iris around the edge. So I've just had this idea. I'm much, much more used to and confident with my um, Australian Floritrol now, my cell activator. So I'm going to do another iris with some rainbow leftover paints and some cell activator to swipe. So I am really excited. It's leftover paint, so if it goes wrong, I've got nothing to lose. Um, but I loved that range of paintings, so I'm just going to have another go and enjoy it. Um, so let's get started. I'm using just a really small canvas. I think it's 20 by 30 centimetres, I think. Um, and I'm going small because I've just got a little bit of leftover paint um, from the previous pour. There's just a small amount in each cup. So I'm just, so I've drawn a circle on here. That's going to be my pupil. And then so that, that'll be black. I've mixed up some pearl black, um, which I'm not sure I've used for a base before. I can't, I'm not sure. I just didn't want it to be jet black. So I've gone for pearl black and there'll be pearl black around the, uh, the outside. And then I'm just, just trying to decide. I quite like the idea of doing a, a sort of stained glass effect. So I just drizzle it on. So I might do that. I think I'm just going to put some paint on for the for the pupil to start with. So I've just drawn round the um, bottom of a paint bottle to get the circle. Well, I drew round two actually. The first one was too small, so I decided to go slightly larger. Right, easy part done. Just coat the side as well. Then I think I'm going to coat the outside. So if I do my paint drizzling inside this semicircle, so that means this bit is going to be black. Oops. Right, so I'm going to drizzle these colours on. Now on my previous painting, I used this cobalt blue, but I think it was a bit runnier than the rest because it seem to take over so I'm going to leave it out Right, I actually really like it like that. So let's swipe. Actually, I'm going to go for a tiny bit more of the pale white just to add a bit more, a bit of a lighter, some lighter colours. Okay. 
Right, so to swipe, I've got my cell activator here, which is three parts Australian Floatrol to one part White Amsterdam paint by weight. Now, what shall I swipe with? I think I'm going to go and get some kitchen roll. I'm going to swipe from the centre outwards, but I don't really want the colours to muddy too much. So what I'm going to do is do some smaller swipes at the edges first which I think will be in the, between the gaps of the, the big swipes. Um, so if, for example, I swipe right across there, there's a bit here I'm going to miss. So I'm just wondering if I can just swipe through there. Right, I am loving this so far. I know I've got a long way to go, but the cells and the lacing are beautiful. Right, so now I'm going to swipe, um, I think from the pupil. There's a few bare bits of canvas. I'm not too worried because as I'm swiping, it's covering them but I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to catch them all on an edge piece like that. So I'm just putting a little bit of extra paint on there. Wow, wow, wow. This is beautiful. I am so excited. Now, what I am trying to decide is whether to leave these black bits or try and do some sort of swipe to fill them in. I don't want to touch this at all because it's just beautiful. I'm wondering if I just do a small swipe from about here and outwards. Maybe if I just get a thin piece of tissue, a uh, pitch and roll. I don't dislike the black, but would it look better if that was swiped as well? So when you swipe, it leaves a very stark white edge to start with, but it does fade as the cells come through.
I am so excited. This has gone so well. It's literally been about a year since I did one of these. I did them lots of Irish paintings at Christmas last year, but not really with Australian Floritrol, more with um, silicon in my paints. Um, so this is quite a different look. The lacing is just incredible and I love how it fades, muddies a little bit, blends, and then the black shows through. That I just think that looks really beautiful at the edges. So you've got the really intense colour here in the centre and then it just fades and blends. I'm really pleased with that. Uh, I've used that pearl black because if you use real black, it's very, very stark. So I think it just it softens the whole piece. Um, at the end there, you saw me using um, a paintbrush and what I did was just pull, oh my goodness, my hands. I pulled the paintbrush through the paint where there was blocks of white. So there was, like, for example, there, a big block of cell activator and that quite stark line. So I've just pulled the paint through, little curvy lines through, just to soften that. And then very similarly, right at the pupil, I did the same. So anywhere there was a little block, and even there, look, in the turquoise, little blocks of colour, I've just pulled the paint through just to break it up a little bit. Otherwise, it would just stand out too much. But wow, these colours are incredible. I am so excited about this. So I'll be back when it's dry. So here it is finished. I'm so happy with it. I'm so excited about this piece. Um, I think because I just have these visions of doing more, doing different things, lots of ideas, I just find it really inspiring. Um, I think if a piece has unexpectedly gone better than I'd hoped, I just feel it's just really inspiring and it just gives me lots of ideas for the future of where I can go next. Um, so let me show you close up. The first thing you'll notice is probably the pupil. I've added um, a light reflex to the pupil, which I just think somehow makes it a bit more realistic and it, a little bit more obvious what it is. Um, I've never done that before with my previous Irish paintings. So this is, this is really different. Um, the other thing that I've done is I've just gone round with some silver just to sharpen up that edge because the it wasn't sharp the paint had um spread in slightly it just wasn't sharp at all um so let me show you all the beautiful beautiful cells you can see there there's a light shining on this so you can see already how iridescent that is and then as i said earlier that i just love the way it fades so really nice and bright here but then it just fades beautifully towards the outside. So the black, that, that iridescent pearl black, it's not obvious, but it's there. It would be quite interesting to do this in reverse, to do a white um, base, as, as a normal eye would be, or the white sclera, the white part of the eye, and then maybe swipe with black. That would be another idea. Um, the turquoise is definitely the dominant colour. I think, again, that colour probably was a little bit... Um, thinner than the other paint so you can see it more obviously um, and just look at the shine on this it's so iridescent so once I've varnished it it's going to look even even shinier even spark more sparkly more iridescent so I'm over the moon with this piece so please let me know what you think um, it's it's different it's very abstract looking so um, might you might not like it let, let me know I'd love to hear what you've got to say but thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Take care of everyone. Bye.